This is taking a while, by the way, <laughs> you know, to do this, but it really is the last thing you do. I mean, you can also explore, I guess, and do some more side quests, I imagine. Not really super interested, though, in doing that. I guess the world is different, though. I also kind of regret <laughs> getting the Jenny pawn. I was like, eh, I was like, whatever. I didn't want to like spend too much time getting like a pawn. She's just naked though. <laughs> uh. this will return us to the She's just naked. It's not very fashionable, you know? It's not very good fashion just to make your character just naked, I feel like. People are always obsessed with nude mods, you know? Remember, you know nude mods in a lot of RPGs? I don't get it. It's just naked. Who cares? It's like funny for like five seconds, but like... It's still the same. It's just it's just naked. That's it. I don't know. I don't find the appeal. Like I get it if you're like 12, you know, if you're 12 years old, you're just like, haha, naked. But then it's like, oh, well, okay, that's it. They're just naked. So uh, I don't know. That's it. Anyway, I don't want to go into like another hot tub rant. Hot tub meta rant. Once again. I haven't been here before, actually, did it say? Uh, Chamber of Distress. I don't remember that, actually. Chamber of Distress, never heard of that. Oh, you look pretty cool. Anyway, um... Chamber of Distress. Do we go to Chamber of Distress? I don't think so, okay. Snow Harpies! Okay, these are just annoying enemies. Here's, here's the annoying chamber. Which is annoying enemies and... Like, not even all that strong, really. But they just annoy you the entire time. Mm -hmm. Put on my lantern. I always forget to put on my lantern, but it kind of goes out, you know, during battle and everything. <laughs> okay, I just jumped into the harpy. I meant to attack. Like so two jump attacks, all you need, really. Faster than just normal attacking. Oh, fall beast! Fall beast. What, a what? What are you doing, sir? Oh, nope. yeah, fall beast, and then she just does an uppercut. Good. I don't know why the camera even zoomed in if you didn't do it. <laughs> it didn't, didn't accomplish anything, really. Now, stop sneezing. No sneezing. Stop it. No sneezing for you. Okay, so go this way or this way? Oh, there's a chest here. And it's a dragon weapon. It's a golden bell? Hmm. I don't know what that is. Is it any good? Uh, only known as those of well, no renown. Ooh, oh, interesting. Uh, way less defense, but way more strength. Huh. I don't know if it's worth it because I don't know. Looks interesting though. Definitely takes away my armor. It's the whole reason I got this armor in the first place. <laughs> but it's plus twenty-two strength. That's interesting. It's just basically a glass cannon at that point. You know, let's try it out. If I don't like it, then I'll change back, but... I guess now I just have a, a belt. Good. And I see some... You know, I see sometimes people in, in, in gyms, you know, in like... In like a gym and whatnot. People wear these weird belts. I don't know what they're for, to be honest. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I saw at least one person wear this weird belt. And I don't know. I don't want to be rude about it, but they're, they're, they're kind of like, you know... Putting on the pounds, I guess. But they, they, they wear this weird belt thing, and I'm not sure what it does, to be honest. Does it help, or... I don't know. I'm just ignorant, I guess. But they just wear this weird belt over their, you know, big tummy. And I don't know how that helps, to be honest. I don't know if it does anything. So, but that's what it reminds me of. It's a big, giant belt. Hold on, let me check over here first. No healing, by the way. I, I, you know, want I want to try out the sorcerer, and I, I, I just never tried the sorcerer because I thought like I kind of healing, you know, and I don't want to like have a mage and a sorcerer because I don't like to use too much magic in general. And for practical reasons, I guess you don't want like too many like weak uh, classes, right? Just in the back, they just get slaughtered, I guess, trying to do spells the entire time. Because I imagine the sorcerer, you know, doesn't have any healing. They're just like a DPS kind of class anyway. 
Oh, I didn't mean to attack the chest. I wonder if there's mimics in this. Uh, I mean, maybe. It, it never happened to me. But you think, you know, with all so, so much of these RPG uh, tropes, you know, in this game. It's actually pretty cool. You know, I like how they actually uh, stick to a lot of, like, D&D kind of, like, cliches. Because it's kind of, it's kind of the game, really. Um... Because I, I think it's, it's a type of game, like, I believe it has Japanese developers, so it's like, you know, it's a similar thing to Dark Souls. I feel like Japanese developers who are, you know, from the outside looking in. And what they see about, like, what they think about what Western fantasy would look like. And everything. So I'm surprised I actually haven't met Mimic. So I was wondering if there was a Mimic in this game, we just haven't seen it yet, or... Or it even exists at all. It's always the case, you know, it's always a mimic. You open the you open the chest and then it just fucking eats you. Nom nom nom. Right. I'm not even gonna pick up these pelts. I don't I don't imagine I need them. These are like low-level enemies anyway. At this point. Like so much material I have in my inventory, in my item storage anyway, that seem kinda useless now because I don't think they're even necessary. Like, they can use it for enhancement for, like, lower tier weapons, but by the time I even bother to think about enhancing my weapons, I've already bought a new weapon, so... I feel like there's just no point. Alright. Uh-oh. This is kind of like... It's not only a dragon? Had, does it have wings? I can't tell. Oh, it has wings. It has tiny little wings, I guess. It is a dragon. Alright. Alright, let me just... Get some grass. Time to fight a dragon! Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Stop, stop casting. Attack, you idiots. Like, my pawns are not really attacking. Who's magic of the highest order, eh? A boom. <laughs> I'm knocked back. Kablam! Once again. Time to activate my super smack arc of deliverance. Limit break. Uh, no. no oh, hold on. Mm, hold on. Uh, let me just... Uh, okay, I'll attack the tail instead. Kablam! Oh, it does anything. Also, my, my characters are dead. My pawns keep dying. We're fighting this dragon again, by the way. A similar dragon last time, I think. Smaller wings, though, it seems. I don't know. Stop picking up your Victoria. Stop. Oh, let go too early. I, I was kind of panicking, so I just want to let it... Attack one more time. There you go. Alright, well this one was easy. It didn't fly anywhere, so it just kind of died. Also, more weird dragon speak. Whatever that means. Some wake stones. Wake stone. Can you guys pick everything else? I wish you could just tell your pawns to pick everything else up, you know? I don't want to pick it up myself, because I I my character just gets too heavy. Okay, fine. I'll pick it up. Fine, I'll pick it up. Alright, there you go. Another dragon. I'm, I'm quite the dragon slayer, by the way. I just kill dragons left and right. Let's see here. Any treasure chests? You would think there'd be a treasure chest after killing this big old dragon, you know? I well, just might as well use up that milk. The milk doesn't heal for a lot, so I'm just gonna use it up. Who cares? At this point. There you go. Some treasure. A golden talisman. What does it do? Uh, uses causes fallen foes to drop more gold for a period of time. Doesn't seem that useful. I'm just gonna use it right now because I don't care. I don't really want like a temporary buff that is for grinding. I don't know. It's not really necessary for me. Unless there's a weapon I really want to buy, I guess. But at this point, I don't know. Doesn't seem all that useful. Anyway. Yeah, my character's so heavy. I really don't get why I'm so heavy. <laughs> mm. And then again, I am holding, like, what is it? Like this thing? Yeah, give it to, like, give it to you now. I am also doing a lot more damage, by the way, it seems. Like, plus 22. I don't know how strong that is, but plus 22? Like, I mean, the number itself, 22, doesn't seem all that high, but it depends on the game, right? Maybe it is a lot of damage. Who knows? It 
Alright. Time to head out and go find the ledge. Now I do wonder, you know, again, I don't know really how know how it works, but is it random, you know? Is it like binding of I uh binding of Isaac style? Or is like maybe you don't need to go through the ledges every single time and you know every chamber you go into is different maybe not sure because you know i said before that was one of the reasons that might be a little bit annoying is that if i keep going through you know all the little areas i just keep going the same ones accidentally or something Oop. okay don't smack your head into the floor again okay you can't skip that by the way you can't skip that little cutscene where you grab on the ledge that's good Saves a little bit of time at least. I'm gonna look at that every single time. Okay, here's another one. Chamber of Inspiration. Hmm, yes. Will I be inspired? Maybe. Oh! Well, I'm not very inspired just now. Uh-oh. Okay, well this sucks. These are phantoms, so I need like... I need like a, a buff of some sort in order to do some damage. So I'm waiting for a sorcerer to do something. I mean, she could just one solo everything, I guess, maybe? Can you, like, buff us or something? I don't know if she has a buff spell. Maybe she doesn't. I don't think she does, so this kind of sucks. I can't do anything right now. Hmm. Hey, Jenny kind of useless to me right now. <laughs> I do, I like, again, I, I really do feel like I need a mage or something. I can do that, I guess. If they possess somebody, I guess I can do damage. I don't know how it works. What is this stuff? I don't know what this stuff is. Uh, it may not be wise to consume it, I guess. Okay, so I wonder if the boss is going to be like that, you know? I guess we'll see. If the boss is going to be like a weird, like, ghoul thing, you gotta, like, use the power of magic to attack it or something. That's going to suck. Because, yeah, I can't attack it myself. Or can I? Oh, it seems like a little bit. I can smack it a little bit. I don't know. It seems to do a lot of damage, though. Hello? Oh, I'm possessed. Okay. Oh, <laughs> hey, Rickstone Shark. Good. Nah, I just hope we don't have to fight so many of, so many of those. In the actual real fight. This is gonna be hard to fight them. They're just literally invincible. Okay, some two guys over there. Good. A warrior bone approaches. Oh, I got lightning striked. That's not good. Out! Stop it. Who's doing that? Is it the the ghost or the mage? I can't tell. Stop it. More of these guys, the heck? Oh, I do have fire, by the way. Oh, no, I have the fire buff. Who gave me the fire buff? I, maybe I, did, I did have the fire buff this, this entire time. I didn't even notice. <laughs> it was just like kind of blending in with the, the environment, maybe. When I was like complaining about ha needing, you know, having a buff and have the buff. I don't know. I thought I didn't have the buff, though. Weird. Anyway, I got all the stones, but you know, I kind of explored some more, though. I don't want to be over yet. What's this? Uh, wake stone? I should just give, get a lot of wake stones. <laughs> yeah. If I want to play like new game plus or whatever, just have like a, a hundred wake stones. So like, <laughs> you just never lose. You did it. With my help. With my help. You're so confident. Good. I'm just wondering why they have the question marks in their head. They're just saying like, you have the wake stones now, you can hand it in. Basically. Maybe go in here? Oh, oh, we can't go in there. Okay. I thought it was gonna be like a big fight. I, I was hoping it was a boss fight, but that kind of sucks that you can't go that way. Hmm. Oh. Got that. This looks interesting. Hey, this looks interesting. Uh, can I go over here though? If I went this way? Oh, I think so. Need some healing, however. Uh oh. Eh. 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 Ah! 
me scream a lot. Okay, wake up. No, stop it. I cannot move. I'm dead. Help. Help me. I'm a ghost now. I'm possessed. Kaboom. The heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, they're just dead now. Good. Amazing. Did they just, did they just die? Like, it, like, dead, dead? Is there way to revive pawns with the wake stone, I wonder? No, I don't think so. Okay, they're just gone forever. I thought I saved them from being possession, but they get possessed again, or was it a different character? My spells are sealed. Hmm. Well, that's kind of inconvenient. Now I don't have an extra pawn with me. But I'll just continue exploring anyway. There's Jazz here. It's uh, just Pensia. Pensia. I guess that's it though. Not much to explore. Hang over here. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's it. Weird. Oh, wait, some shark. Kick over here. Yeah, just it's just a bunch of ghosts around here. That's it. How much else? Can I drop down there? I don't know if there's any reason to though. That's just where we were before. So I guess let's just go back. I mean, I might as well just teleport. I think. I think I'm just gonna teleport actually, because I want to get my my pawn back, or at least a pawn. I have, I have to resummon a pawn though. I guess. Yep. I was hoping to run a fight, though. I want to do one more. I want to do one more fight, actually. It's fun to do the boss fights. One more kind of like boss fight kind of thing, if possible. Hmm. And double check you, by the way. You not you you have the buff, right? Uh. Da -da -da -da. Augments duration as well as resist magic. I I don't know what that means. <laughs> Fire affinity. I don't know. Meteors. Does it give like fire buff? I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Is is fire affinity the, the buff? Fire boon. Duration as well as resist magic. Oh man. No, no. I'm not sure. They don't like me just swinging my sword around. Like, I do some practice swings, you know? Ur Urza Scarlet. Isn't that like an anime character? Whatever. I just need like a, a fighter. Come back. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go away. Who are you? Yes, you know what you look kind of cool? I get you. Good. Alright. I always end up just a full party of... Waifus, by the way. Well, I can't help it. It's just, just all anime girls, no matter what. I guess it's just a, is is my is my sword just like fire automatically I wonder. I, that's what I'm wondering. Maybe maybe that just has the fire buff innately or am I just crazy? Or maybe she does have the you know the, the sorcerer does have like a fire buff that they gave already and I just can never tell. I don't know. This will return us to the surface. Anyway, so we can we can do the the whole wake stone thing but like I want to get some more so we one more. It's fun. Now, I'm not sure what what have I haven't done yet, so maybe this one. This looks different. Hello. It's just for fun. I'm just gonna like. <laughs> I feel like this is this, this is iconic of Dragon's Dogma, you know, just throwing people off like high areas. You just you just do that. That's just Dragon's Dogma. It's part of the charm <laughs> that you just do that for fun. I don't know. It's just hilarious. You don't you don't do that. I don't feel like in any other game. <laughs> 
I think. I mean, is there like another game where you just grab people and just like kick them off the cliff? Maybe, but what the heck is this? Um, okay, this just seems like the the super secret boss area. Like if I if I Sephiroth or something, I don't know. Oh my god, the heck is this area? It's purple fire? Oh, what? Um, uh, should I be here? This is like the end of the world. It's kata 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 kata. I can't say the word. Cataclysmic. That's what I'm trying to say. It's the it's the apocalypse, you know. What is this fire? It doesn't hurt me, I guess. I mean, I guess in you know, purple fire in real life isn't all that strange, really. Uh, well, at least artificially, anyway. There is a way to like you know make the fire look different, I guess. Also, are you pawns? Oh, what the heck. Okay, these are these are the mad pawns. They mentioned, you know, some pawns are like evil, I guess. Or whatever. I wanna grab them. I wanted to grab them and throw them off. Now this is interesting though, they have <laughs> rosemary, I guess. Are these like PvP pawns? Are they like pawns based on other players' games? That's uh that's interesting. Also kinda scary. Like what if they have like really hacked stats or something and Oh, dragon. Dragon, dragon ball, dragon ball Z. Alright, it's a dragon again. Uh-oh. I was gonna say, though, what happens if the if the pawns are, like, really strong or something? Oh, I, I end up actually, I actually ended up uh, recruiting the Ezra Scarlet. I didn't even know that was her, actually. Anyway, you're a dragon. You are a dragon. Incredible, powerful foe. Defeating him requires multiple encounters, chipping away at his health each time. So yeah. So I know about this, actually. If you're playing online anyway, this is like kind of like a raid boss, if that makes sense. Like an asymmetrical raid boss, really. Which is an interesting idea. I don't know how it works, especially because at this point, I don't know how many people are actually playing Dragon's Dogma. But it's kind of like this thing where everybody attacks the dragon at the same time and, you know, eventually... When you win, you get something, but, you know, it takes a while. Not like in, uh, I mean, Fate Go in particular, I remember, but I guess in like, like a gacha game, I guess. Where everybody fights the same boss and everything. And you don't, you don't win like yourself, you have to actually, again, chip away at its health, bit by bit. Is the idea. But you're supposed to, I believe you're supposed to, oh, I'm just dead, good. Wow, that's just one-shot me, huh? I'm gonna use a wake stone, though. I have a lot of wake stones. I don't know if I win? Like, win, like, not really win-win, but, you know, at least... Fight him enough that he'll, like, run away, maybe? I do believe you get some kind of reward if you actually survive, I guess. And not just run away, you know? My god, my pawns are just getting massacred. It seems stuck. That's weird. Now, I don't see a lot of damage, though. Hmm, again, I gotta kill the heart, right? But where's the heart? I'm not sure. His folly to attack it head on. I can't. I can't tell where the hearts are, to be honest. Or is it just you just do some damage, maybe? Oh. I do see. I do see some pulsating parts on his body, though. Just my healing, I guess. None of it matters because it's get one shot. Yeah, there is some glowing parts on his hind leg there. His foot. I uh, tickle his foot. Yeah, I don't know if I'm doing any damage though. I don't know. Man, I don't know. I feel like I'm doing zero damage. <laughs> okay. I really don't know if I'm doing damage at all. Is this helping? But you can also fight this dragon, I believe, uh, offline. And it's kind of like it's just a singular, just a solo boss fight. You get less rewards for it, I guess. But, you know, you can just fight it normally, I guess. Without doing the whole online thing. 
I really do feel like I don't know if I'm doing any damage. Am I, am I gonna spend, you know, hours trying to fight this thing and just not do any damage, I wonder? I don't know. It seems to do something. I don't know. Now, this is a good time to attack Tweet, I feel like. I don't know. <laughs> this you do a little lot, though. Okay, we got, I gotta heat my pawns. They're, not, they're kind of my meat shields at this point, really, but I gotta make sure they live so they continue being my meat shields. What the gaff? Uh -oh. Do magic again. Magic never seems to hit me, though. It's kind of like, yeah, just shoot some stuff. I don't know where it goes. All right, well, let's try doing this attack as long as it doesn't move, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't move. Don't move, please. I'm trying to do the magic super attack. Okay, well, I got hit. I got the attack off. I don't know if it hit anything. I think I missed. <laughs> oh. Okay, I have that. Explosions. Or maybe that is the magic spell. Maybe that was the magic spell he shoots. This is kind of like this weird explosion thing that happens later instead of right away. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Please. Don't move. Please. Don't move. Please. Keep doing your weird thing. Okay. It doesn't seem to work. I don't know. Again, I see a little bit of his hearts. Like little, like, I guess, I don't know the hearts. But, you know, he has multiple of them. Like little spots anyway. I've heard that you're supposed to use, attack these spots. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything though. Oh, that was like a big explosion, I think, or something. No, what's going on? I don't know. No. Not allowed to do that. Now let's try climbing. Maybe climbing is a better idea. Maybe there's something on his back I should probably hit or something. Eh. Eh. I mean, there's this thing. I wonder if she hit this. It makes very little weird splurting sounds, but... Eh. 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 Okay, well, I'm gonna leave. I gotta heal uh, Jenny because otherwise she's gonna disappear and that's one less meat shield, you know? Very important. Oh, run away. Are my pawns alive? They're still alive. Yeah, this health bar is not going down. But like, again, I wonder if it's because like it's an online thing. So maybe it does go down later. I don't know actually. I can keep trying until something happens, I guess. Otherwise, I'm gonna do this for hours and nothing happens. Uh, am I just not doing enough damage? Maybe. I mean, this maybe this is just too high level. I don't know. Its bones are immune to attack. Okay. Well, we have that. I'm trying to like see maybe there's something on his actual back. We haven't really seen much of his back, you know. It takes too long to get up here. <laughs> he moves around so much. Eh. Eh. Uh, I don't know. Maybe his back here, but it's just his spine. <laughs> you know, doesn't do. Okay. Or I'm leaving. All right, I need to save my my pawns. Pawns. Stop it, stop, stop. Nope. And they just get kill again, good. Oh, sha da da. Loads of docking errors, it's useless. That's why I'm trying to hit the blowing spots. I don't know. Oh, it's, like it's weak again. 
So I will do the big attack again. Or at least try to. Uh oh. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna die. Help. 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 Okay. <laughs> Good. Amazing. Just a quick pause from the action. Okay, fine. I'll just try again. Maybe eventually the hearts explode and that's when it's actually weak to damage. Oh, oh. That's not good. Um... None of these really help me right now. I use that. Uh, well, I can't heal my party because they're dead. Okay, I forgot about that. Trying! You are very clumsy. Okay. They just leave? Is that it? I guess I just didn't do enough damage. I don't know. I don't know how it works, to be honest. Maybe I just didn't do enough damage. Or I'm gonna leave. Bye. Alright, there you go. That was my encounter with the UR Dragon. It was very messy. <laughs> I didn't really accomplish anything. But oh well. We'll just move on. What's this? Accessing server. Okay, good. Okay, these are the people who killed the dragon or something? Yeah. I'm not really interested in that. Who cares? Uh, mine. What's over here? Silver ore. Well, that didn't, that's not much at all. So I wonder, like, uh, am I just too weak? I don't know. Maybe I'm just too weak to fight the actual dragon. Like, I just think it'd be even stronger. Enhance my weapon even further because that didn't... It didn't seem like I did any damage at all, you know? <laughs> hmm. I don't know if it's an indication where it's like you, you would kill one of the hearts and... I don't know. No idea. Maybe I'll look that up later. But, you know, it's the same... It really is the same dragon fight, really. It's just... It's like a recolor, really. And they one-shot you. <laughs> Amazing. Anyway. There you go. Uh, let's see here. I imagine if I go New Game Plus, though, I'll, I'll, ne I'll never be able to <laughs> do more of the dragon thing, really. Hmm. Wee. Can I, like, drop off the Grand Soren? I wonder. Just drop off Grand Soren, no? Oh, whatever. All right. Anyway, I think, um, let's see, have I done enough? I don't know there's more to do. I can deliver the stones and everything. It would be, um, it would make sense if I just, like, deliver the stones now and that'd be good, right? Uh, I would go to New Game Plus, though, I think, if I, like, finish this quest right now. Which is inconvenient because I kind of want to, like, do more of the, the dragon, maybe find some more weapons and all that. But, yeah, I kind of want to grind on stream, you know, so, yeah, I think I just move on. Might not be ideal, but I think it's something I'll do. And I, I still don't know if I'll do the DLC, to be honest. I think I'm good. Okay, a little anticlimactic with the dragon. It just seems like I'm just too weak, you know? That's the thing, you know? That's the thing I don't like about uh, this game and everything. It's really gear dependent. It's like Diablo, you know? Diablo, Borderlands, you know? Those kind of games where it's like very much like kind of focus on loot especially in, you know near the end of the game here really it's just getting like stronger and stronger weapons the big numbers go up but you know i'm kind of interested in that you know it's kind of like eh. now like grind stuff to get better weapons and all that i don't know even if this like big sword here is, is still not enough i don't know anyway i think i'm good and if i play more of the game probably play more of the dlc but i guess we'll see anyway for now i guess i'll give the wake stones i think this ends the game I guess we'll see. With them, you can summon forth a rift of considerable power. This rift, born of the Wakestone's power, will guide you forward, Arisen. I see. I fear there will be no returning to this place. Are you prepared to journey on? Ah, uh, sure. Let's let's see what the ending cutscene looks like. Here you go. This, I'm going to end the world now. Good. Amazing. My Wakestones. I, again, I could have grinded some more, but that's fine. Is it going to be a twist where you become the new dragon or something? Or 
I wonder. Because wake stones, you know, revive things, right? So, I don't know what it means exactly when you revive something with the wake stones. Yeah, level up. Amazing. Good. Hmm. End this arisen, eh? I need to drop down there, I guess, is the idea. How about you go for you first? You first? No, you first? No, okay. <laughs> Never mind. All right, I'll do it. And here we go. Wee! Into the portal. That reminds me of the beginning of the game, actually. Oop. Oh, okay. Also, all the quests are canceled, by the way. <laughs> Obviously, at this point. Hmm. Hmm, what's kind of cool here? Hmm, okay. Who are you? Well met, Arisen. Well met. I'll not waste time on rhetoric. Defeat me, and take my place as keeper of this world. You saw it awaiting you at the end of your descent. Aye, the same world you've traveled to arrive at this place. A world you may well now inherit. It is what? a simple proposition. No different than any you've faced. Ow. Okay. So basically my character is talking to the DM now. I need to kill the DM in real life. I'm going to stab him in the face. And, be and then I become god of this world, maybe. This is, how, this is how I understand it anyway. I'm literally looking at god. The dungeon master. Uh-oh. What? Oh, ah! Okay. This is, I don't really very convenient. I feel classy to fight this right now. Like this class, like my warrior class, is very slow, right? I wonder what happens if you're like a mage. You know, if you're like a like a mage for like your main class, gotta be kind of hard to like cast spells like this. But well, maybe you can just stay back, I guess. All right, so I'm teleporting you. Come on, you're literally god. You're kind of cheating because you're just you could just choose not to get hit. You know. Very gloopy. Okay. Ah, yes, you can. Yeah, you can make anything. You're literally God. You make me now. I'm Sha Shadow Link. You're gonna fight Shadow Link now. Naked as well. I gotta make, gotta make my character naked. Right into the, zooming right into the boobs. But expect none of the mercy men seek in their gods. This is cold truth. The unbending reality of a world without compassion. Blit. The world and all its denizens are but empty vessels. They're all but NPCs. In that regard, no different than the horns. Without volition, there is no true life. The world falls stagnant, dead as an ocean with no current to guide it. That volition is tempered by the struggle for survival. The decision, just like yours, to fight. Just as the pawns need a master's command, so the world thirsts for the will to live. This is all an analogy, by the way, for like a video game, you know? So <laughs> everything's an NPC. You need, there needs to be a player in this world to play the game for in order for the world to thrive, you see? Or something, I don't know. Something like that. Smack! Smack! <laughs> That's funny. Whoop. Now, obviously this fight is not really real, I feel like. It's just like, try to smack them, and then eventually they die. My hair is kind of weird. Oh. Oh, it's me! <laughs> of course, it's me! Nani? It is time to decide. Will you claim your right as a risen? Or shrug the burden and seek peace in oblivion? Just so. One foot after the next, come what may. 
Okay, stop preaching at me. DM. Oh, happy. <laughs> hey. Alright, it's gonna be like another choice? I mean, obviously, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to like go back or... I don't know if this is like a real choice. We did this already, okay? Nah, okay, never mind. I want to just grab myself and just like kick her, kick her into the portal, but I imagine if you keep walking that way, you just kind of instantly lose. Why not put an end to it? Yeah, this guy, he just, you know, the one time he... Cool. Cool. That's a mite harsh, huh? This is that one guy that just, like, appeared in the one cutscene. Nope, you're dead. Solomon and the Dragon Forest, I guess. Oh, right, here's Casca. Nope. Hi. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Screw you guys. Screw you. Finally, I get to kill you. Die! I hate you. And you die again? Bye. Uh, weird Palpatine? Stop. Stop it. Adoro? Oh yeah, Adoro. He's the first guy I murdered. Remember him? Also, I killed Casca. Oh well. I guess she was chasing me anyway. Also, the merchants and the princess. And who are you? Twin Tails? Waifu? I don't know. You're dead. Ah yes, my childhood friend died. I don't care about any of you. I don't want. I just this is the. I, I would. I like. I, is it like this is a hard choice or something? No, I, I. I prefer just to genocide the entire world. Why not? I don't know. Who cares? We. You know, I imagine you're supposed to care about these people. I guess it's supposed to be like, oh no, all these people, all my friends and my family. I'm gonna have to slaughter them all in order to become God or whatever. Uh, but you know. I feel like this is not it's not that type of game, you know, Dragon's Dogma, really. If this was more like a dialogue focused kind of RPG, then maybe that'd be more impactful, but I just kinda of don't care about all of those NPCs. Some of them I even hate. So kind of an easy decision, really. You are close now. So very close to me. I'm gonna show off my naked body, you know. Oh. Oh yeah, okay. Prologue arisen. Okay. I must destroy the main character. I need to destroy the... A main character. So that I become the main character. I must become the true main character. Savan, I guess. Okay, well, Rook is just instantly dead. Uh-oh. Super Saiyan mode. Oh, well. It didn't really work. <laughs> That's funny. He's doing his whole speech was being grabbed by like my pawn. But he's dead. Amazing. He didn't even do anything. He didn't even do his like Super Saiyan thing. You know? I, I think he was gonna power up or something, but it didn't work. I just kinda smacked him. Oh no no. no. But no, he's God, so it's like this is doing anything. He's like literally God though. Literally can't do anything when he bends reality. All I've done is to test your will. Okay, good, whatever. Stop being so condescending. Same as the rest. Each tempers the volition of the next. And the endless cycle continues. And so, until the coming of a new soul fit to craft the will to live, someone like you. Until that day, may you guide the world ever justly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he the well. Oh yeah, I had that weapon by the way, the God's Bane weapon. I wonder what that did. To be honest, I never used it. I present you with the God's Bane. Well, I did have this in my inventory actually. So. Those who arise to oversee this world are undying. 
Save by this ah, okay. So, okay, the idea is that you, if you become literally God, eventually if you get bored, there is a way to just... Seppuku is the idea. Is that what it is? That's why I had it in my inventory, maybe? And, well, maybe it's from the dragon. I don't know. Sensho. Okay, so this guy is tired of being Jesus, so I need to kill him. The fire of my life is spent in guttering. Give me if there is art you wish to know for my death. Okay, question. All right, here's some lore dump, by the way, the very end of the game. Uh, what is the Seneschal? Seneschal is Okay, Guardian of the World. Kind of like uh, a Kami, you know, from Dragon Ball Z. Just as, the arisen as it literally God. Yeah, literally God. So it's kind of like an analogy, you know, how we control the pawns and everything. As it turns out, the entire world is just pawns to so like one, you know, called the Schnesto or whatever. Schnesto? Schnesto. Call it what you will. All right. Okay. I like more no more no. How is the world composed? Okay. Parallel worlds. Limitless in span and lost to time. Also in a perfect loop. Just as a ring lacks start. Okay. Kind of like uh, what's it called? Final terminus. There's a word for this. It's on the tip of my tongue. Mobius strip, I think. But you know, it's just kind of like. It, there's, there's no, I mean, basically what he said. No start or no end, really. If it does, they lie beyond arc. We are prisoners of unpassing time. Okay. I'm kind of skipping, I don't know. But again, the plot is not super important, but I don't know. Might as well just listen to a little bit of the lore at the end here. What is eternity? There's life and death. Nothing lasts forever. Such is a death akin to that of Pons. Here in this world and vanish. As so it is with all that lives within this. In time, you will come to see each beast, each blade, not lasts forever. Okay, so things die, but eventually they respawn, basically, is the idea. Reincarnation or something like that. Will. Will. Which led you to this place. Will. The endless string of life and death. They yearn. They are the arisen. The arisen, as in the, the chosen ones, as in the protagonist, as in the player. You know, the person playing the game, maybe. Well, maybe not that maybe not that fourth wall breaking, but that's the idea, I guess. And so the dragon is sent into the world to guide the hmm. and refine them. Okay, I guess that's the role of the dragon. Of the world. Basically gives them an objective, you know. It really is, I feel like an analogy for like a video game. So anyway. The cycle of our world Alright. If there is art you wish to know for my death, my knowledge, mm. as you wish, and turn it shall, and ere the newly arisen, until that day, I am defeated, and in defeat, my role is ending. Okay, I was trying, I was trying to kind of skip a dialogue because I wanted to like grab him real quick and kick him in the butt, but... Pray. Oh no, this more, okay. Hold on. No, oh, come on! I wanted to kick him in the butt. Okay. Oh, wait, okay. Mourn me not. It was automatic. I was kind of. I was just bash him a little, you know. I guess not. I guess it just automatically stabs him. Long last, I am free of eternity, of infinity, free of the cruel, unending ring. Yay! Finally, I die. Finally, the development of the game is finished, and now I can sell the game. <sighs> I don't know. See, that was the, again an analogy. That was he was the developer. He was playing the game ever since development, and finally he can release it and give it to the player to play, you know? I, I, I don't know why I'm stuck on that. But anyway. Okay, it's a little interesting, I guess. It's just, you know, it doesn't really have much impact because, I mean, for one, I kind of skip a lot of stuff there. I don't know, but really the story isn't that important, really. I feel like. There's some neat ideas, it's just like... The actual game itself, from the, like the middle part, really, not much. You know, it, it doesn't really. Um, uh, um, I don't know what the word is, but it's not really the type of game that uh, really facilitates like a uh, interesting story or narrative experience. You know, basically, 
a lot of time just walking back and forth doing a lot of fetch questions smacking some enemies you know you could do all the side quests i've done the side quests off screen actually i didn't want to record it at all because then the playthrough would take a million years but i did a few things and it's like you know it's interesting here and there but like i don't know it really is like a lot of like mmo quests you know where it's kind of like just talk to the characters and they say things and you know, i mean that's just art. i mean that's just video games in general but you know it's just it's not super important right I guess it's it's kind of left vague because your main character is kind of like a silent protagonist as well. Is the idea, but uh, basically it's just I don't know, it's just not the same, you know. Not the same as like a, an RPG. It's kind of like story driven. Dragon's Dogma is not really that type of game, you know. Again, it is some interesting ideas here and there, though. I don't know, but I feel like in a kind of like a different game, definitely it would be a lot cooler, you know. But this type of game mm, is really hit the same maybe the sequel would be better you know uh, apparently dragging's dogma 2 actually is officially announced you know i think like next year or something next year maybe a little bit later i don't know but it is confirmed that there will be a sequel of this game so maybe even more focus on the story next time or it'll just be on the combat i mean that's that's what it does well anyway there are definitely some times where you fight really cool monsters you fight bosses and all that so that's that's fun but other than that though i don't know I feel like it'd be better if it's more like I said before, like how it's compared like Shadow of Colossus and all that. It'd be a better game if it would kind of focus on just that, you know? If it just became Shadow of Colossus, basically, it would be a, a way stronger game, I feel like, you know? It doesn't need all this fluff. You know, that's the problem, right? Unless you really like all the filler, I guess. If you're a type of player that really likes that kind of stuff, like Skyrim. If you're a type of player that really likes Skyrim, you know, and like doing all the side quests in Skyrim, I guess, which not for me, really, um, because it's kind of like Shadow, you know? it's just really shallow i feel like um but otherwise if you like um you know if, if they if they kind of just cut all that you know access fat then i feel like uh dragon's dogma would definitely be way better for me but i don't know again some ups and downs but mostly i, I like the gameplay anyway let me just sit on this thing i guess let's claim my throne become god anything, anything to say about that my pawn okay good for you Amazing. Let me sit. All right, good. <laughs> I don't know. It's also I don't. I didn't take this game too seriously. I don't know, to me, it's just a goofy game. Yep. I'm invisible. All right. Um, I'm a ghost. Hello. Hi. I'm God. Oh. Okay. I guess I'm just God now. I'm just like this. Is like uh, what do you call it? Minecraft sandbox mode, you know, or something creative mode. So I'm literally no clipping around the world, and I can, you know, again, I really do feel like this would be more impactful if it was just I don't know stronger in terms of like it's, I don't know, it's like just writing in general. <laughs> and I was like, it just feels too much like Skyrim. The problem with Skyrim and Oblivion and all that, they're really cool like open world games and everything, and you think there's a lot of things to do, right? But it just feels kind of empty, right? This is just not a lot of depth to it. And it sacrifices depth for like, you know, um, having a lot of things to do, you know? I, I, you know the opposite of depth, I guess. Like, uh, it's very broad, you know, very broad type of game. But that's not really my type of game, you know? I prefer definitely something to have more depth to it in terms of its like lore and world and characters and whatnot, as opposed to just have just having a lot of things to do. I saw my sword, by the way. Can I save? <laughs> Should I save? bother saving even? I think this is the end of the game. And it's just like, you're invisible now? I think it's just an ending sequence where like, I guess the idea is that, again, I even said before, it's like, creative mode. You're like God now, so you literally, it just overlook the world, I guess? I don't know. Something like that. You do whatever you want. You can't talk to anyone. Yeah, it seems like you can't talk to anyone. Again, I feel like, I really feel like it's an interesting idea though. Like, it would be kind of, it would definitely be a cooler uh, execution if it was like in a more... Yeah, again, story focus RPG. Or like I imagine maybe it'd be kinda cool. Like if you actually cared about all the characters in the world, it's kinda like interesting. You just walk around, you know, look at them, it's like, hey, I'm a weird ghost thing now. And then they can't see you, you know? And it'd be like really sad or whatever. But again, I just don't really care about any of these NPCs. They're just nothing to me. They mean nothing to me. Die! You must die. You die now. I will now kill the, every single NPC in this game. Murder them all. No, um... That will actually take too long, actually. I feel like. Take a million years. <laughs> Look at her go. Who are you? 
da, 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 da. And nobody reacts, by the way. <laughs> They're just, again, it's just, I don't know, it's just weird. Come on. Boom. There he goes. Where are you going? Hmm? Where are you going? Hmm? I can't seem to grab them. Can you grab them now? Aha! You got grabbed by invisible ghosts! Hee hee! Not that. Oh, he's dead. Okay. I kicked him so hard in the butt he died. Alright, anyway. I like the sound effect, but I didn't even notice. It was like a weird sound effect where... Because, you know, there's no music right now. There's a sound effect after doing your attack. A bunch of sand falls, I guess. Anyway, is there anywhere I need to go? But what's the quest? Do I can I leave or? Anyway, right, this is when like a bunch of people in the village just mysteriously died. <laughs> anyway, hey, it's a little boy. Interesting. No more like those weird monsters. Like the weird thing where you te get teleported. Oh, he died. Okay, well. I didn't mean to kill him, but oh well. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I can just walk in the water now. That's funny. Usually if you walked in the water before, you get... No, no, no there you go. Yeah, you do get like... Eaten up. Yeah. Even as God, you can't like escape from this. Okay. Whoop. Alright. I'm over here now. It... Yeah, even as God, you can't escape from that. Let's just... That's just unfair, don't you think, guy? Hmm? Don't you think, guy? Don't you think so? He's like, ah, oh, what is going on? Yeah. It also reminds me of like, oh, he disappeared. <laughs> Let's just... It also kind of reminds me of uh, Metal Gear Solid, actually. You know, in a lot of Metal Gear Solid games, I mean, especially in the first one and whatnot, you get you get something called Stealth Camel. You know, it's kind of like a cheat, in a way. You get you can get it legitimately, but it's not supposed to be something you get right away. But it, it's very powerful, you know, in uh, Especially in the first, and I think the second one, but especially the first one, the idea is that uh, in Metal Gear Solid 1, it's a stealth game, right? But if you play the game a certain way, and then, you know, I guess you play the game again, like New Game Plus, you get, like, a thing that makes you invisible, right? Forever. And it, it just sounds like fun, because obviously, normally in a stealth game, you gotta be stealthy, but if you just have something that makes you invisible forever, you know, that was pretty nice. It's like, it's fun for like, you know, a few minutes or so, but it kind of breaks the whole game. Obviously, that's kind of the point. Anyway, what am I doing? Actually, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just killing people for no reason. But like, that's the idea. That's the idea. Oh, it's a chest. Can I, can I loot the chest? I can't even loot the chest. What's the point of living? Just kill me now. Where's the God's Bane? I can't loot stuff. What's the point? I'm literally invincible, but invisible. And nobody can see me. And I can't do anything. It's a nightmare. I guess is that's how you would feel as God, you know? Every, every, like, compared to you, everyone else is just a, an NPC. It doesn't matter. Alright, well, I guess go through the gate. Hi. Hello? Is that it, or...? That's weird. Like, what do I do now, though? How may I serve you? How may I serve you? How about we... I don't know. I don't know, actually. I was thinking, like, uh, make me some pie. But we don't have a kitchen. I don't know. Okay. Is that it though? Or I don't know. There, there, there's gotta be more, right? Uh no, no, okay, no, okay. We 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 okay, that's the guy. Alright, that's the idea. It's like we we get back up and then we sit back down, we look down, and it's like, oh okay, now in Grand Sora, you know, whatever. And I kill more guards. Whee! You deserve it for attacking me that one time. You all send me to jail. I'm gonna send you to the after. Excuse, I burped in the middle of my sentence a little bit. I'm gonna send you to the afterlife. Die! That's as soon as I charge up this attack. Yeah! <laughs> all right. Woo! There he goes. Where did he go? He like went all the way up in the castle walls. That's hilarious. You die too. I don't like your face. You die. Merchants die too. This is what you get. <laughs> this is like this is how I have fun. Just murder everybody. I said before I was gonna just kill, kill everybody. So, wee. 
Yeah, the true dragon's dogma, running around murdering everybody. I mean, I think that defeats the purpose, actually. You're not supposed to kill everybody. That's not the point. She's <laughs> supposed to be like, oh, it's so sad that you're like God and everything. There's not much to do. And like nobody sees you, you can't interact with anything, but... Here you... No, fi you shut up. You finally just shut up. I hate you. For like... Every time I, I, I teleport here. I say, hear ye, hear ye, blah, blah, blah. No need for rest, I don't need to sleep anymore, so you die too. I find it kind of weird how they like... I mean, I imagine, I don't know how it works exactly, but I guess Grand Soren, by the way, doesn't have a hole in the middle anymore. I guess everything everything got reset, I guess, is the idea. I don't know. I don't know how it is exactly. Where are you looking at, buddy? There's no one here. You're dead. Anyway, where's the freaking castle? Is the Duke alive again? I wonder. I want to kill him real quick. <laughs> I didn't get to kill him. I need to satisfy my bloodlust. I know I'm such a psycho right now, but like, you know, this is what happens when you become God. This, I think I feel like this is what happens when I become God in like a video game. This is what you do, right? You turn on God mode, and you're like, I'm invincible. I can do whatever I want, and then you just start slaughtering everybody. You know, it's the only way you can interact with the NPC. That's the thing, right? Because obviously, in in, in a weird like. I mean, hypothetically, if you do become invincible, like, in whatever, then maybe not the first thing you do will be to murder everybody. But, like, in a video game, you know, you can't do anything, right? It's just, especially right now, I can't, like, talk to anybody. There's no really interesting things for them to say or anything. Really, the only thing that you can interact them with is just to murder them, so. <laughs> this is what happens when you, like, become God in the video game, you know? If the only way you can interact with the NPCs is just to murder them, that's what you do, right? I don't know. Hi. I guess the, the, the one thing that this game does better than Skyrim, you get to kill children. I mean, what? Don't ban me. Is that because TOS? I don't know. Oh, well, too late. The, the child is dead. Don't worry. They're, 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 look, God even said, like, these are just NPCs, okay? They're not real. That's the whole point, you know? These are just pawns. They're just, like, mindless... Uh, NPCs in the eyes of God, so it's okay to murder them all. Also, incredibly goofy and not realistic anyway. Just look at this. If, 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 you, if people just start dying in the middle of the streets from an invisible force, everyone just stands there <laughs> as if nothing happens. Ah, anyway, oh, man, no, we can't go in there, I guess. I oh, won't well, do I was hoping to go inside the castle, just freaking, especially stab that jester again. I feel like the one time we killed that jester, it was like kind of fake, you know, it wasn't a real jester. I'll murder them again real quick. Alright, back here again. I keep getting that notice about DLC, I feel like, as well. Oh, they're back again, by the way. The guy with the fishing rod, okay, you murdered them, I mean, they come back anyway, right? So yeah, it doesn't, don't worry about it. They come back anyway. I kill them and then you just respawn them without any of the memories of them actually getting murdered. Don't worry about it. There's no like weird ethical, to, you know, uh, no ethical quandary to worry about right now. Chief Otero's house. Oh, uh, maybe, well, Chief Otero. I mean, I, I guess I killed a different person. I remember like, I said before how like I killed the, the drunk guy. I remember that, my, that was my first kill. I threw him off a cliff. Um,. I guess I mixed some of the, the chief though. The chief is a different guy, I guess. So where's my house? This is my house, right? Where would Casca would be? No, Casca's gone. I guess he doesn't care about me when I became god. Oh wow. So how much to do? Do I just leave again or something? I don't know. La 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 la. I mean, I guess I'll go visit the church real quick. I, mean, I really don't know what you're supposed to do. I get, do you just like leave and come back like a five times and then you're like, you're good, <laughs> you know? I, again, that's the idea, I guess. You know, once you become the maker of the world or whatever, you kind of get bored because you're like literally God. There's nothing to do except look at people all day. It's not very interesting because the AI, you know, in this world isn't very uh, robust. It would be interesting though. Actually, you know, I mean, obviously right now, in the current world, AI is very limited. What we call AI is not really AI. It's just like, just a bunch of NPCs, you know, with models, character models, just doing like a, like a fixed script, you know? 
or whatever, whatever they're programmed to do, like literally. And then it's just kind of an illusion that they're real, but they're not. I do wonder though, if we ever get to the point where it gets really uh, sophisticated, you know? I mean, obviously, um, there's already models out there that kind of, kind of like, kind of um, do that really. They try to simulate like human behavior and all that. I really, you know, kind of wish or hope that it gets in like video games, you know, where actually the the NPCs kind of react like real people and everything. Of course, then it gets really weird because then you know, what happens is you just start killing everybody. It's kind of like they're actually acting like real humans getting murdered. I don't know about that. But anyway, um, but yeah, I kind of wish they, you know, eventually, I mean, maybe not my lifetime, but eventually video games will get to the point where it really simulates, you know, that idea. I mean, that's what I, that's what I think of when I think of like sandbox games, you know, when I was a kid. I, I, I was very hopeful, <laughs> optimistic even of how video games work. I was like, oh, it's like real life, you know, it's like. It's like GTA game, I remember, you know, this whole like little thing that happened where like, like you just watch a city uh, just come to life, you know, when you're like, like when, it, when a random citizen dies, I believe it was GTA 3 or whatever, I don't know, it was like an old one, the Vegas one, like a character died or something, or not a character, well, like a, a random NBC basically. They got run over by a car or something, I don't know. But then like an ambulance truck came, you know, and revived them, you know. You see the you see the ambulance worker like doing CPR on them and then they live. And then even uh sometimes when when the well the thing is when the ambulance uh worker died, and then another ambulance came and did the CPR on them, it was like wow, that blew my mind, you know, how like these NPCs actually interact with each other. Because you know, the video games I was used to at the time anyway, it's like Pokemon or whatever, you know, the guy like they only react when you're in the vicinity and they don't really do anything on their own. You know, interact with each other in particular, where the world kinda goes on without you and everything. That's the idea anyway. It's kinda cool, right? Obviously, I know these days, especially a lot of open world games, just like this, they're, you know, they're just kind of like basic AI, you know, they don't really, the world doesn't really, you know, live without you. They kind of just kind of spawn in when you're in the vicinity and they kind of do basic actions, right? So why do you have naked? Why do you just boob armor? Um, so yeah, that's how it works. And oh, the stone is missing. That's interesting. I don't know what that means. Is it just destroyed? Is it just pawn? Well, pawns do exist. I mean, these are pawns, right? So, oh, that's kind of weird. And go in here. Go back, go back to Everfall. I wonder if it matters. No, this goes back here. All right. Yeah. So I, I at the time anyway, I was like my mind was blown, you know. But these days, I'm kind of like, eh, you know, I kind of know how it works. So I'm not like a programmer necessarily, but I did like a, a bit of modding here and there in my own time, you know, personal modding. And like when you look at the code, you know, it's it's like the Matrix, you know. It's kind you look at the code and you kind of kind of like. The, the magic kind of dies once you know you know how it works it's just all ones and zeros you know and like eh. but it'd be kind of cool obviously when ai becomes more complicated and actually simulates like real human behavior a little bit anyway it kind of cool right instead of like when you go to an npc and you're like hello this is like you know the starter town have a good day you know and that's it it'd be kind of cool there's actually dynamic dialogue so like every single player who's ever played the game talk to the same NPC, they would say different things. You know, for every single person. And be kind of like a unique experience, you know? And everything. That, that, I don't know. That, to me, that sounds like the ultimate, like, video game. And everything. Well, it's kind of like, you know, basically, a, I'm, I'm kind of referring to it like AI dungeon, you know? But even the AI dungeon is kind of like a little uh, wonky, you know? I also, also heard some, like, weird controversy, you know, involving that. But anyway, I don't want to go into it. AI dungeon kind of does that with this like AI model, you know? You input something and like reacts to it and everything. It's not perfect though. It's, kind of, it's not really a, r a real game. It's kind of random. Am I done by the way? I keep going back and forth. It, uh, the time, you know, kind of goes forward, but like... I don't know if this is what you're supposed to do or am I supposed to go anywhere in particular? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just kind of walking back and forth rambling about like video games. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I really don't know what you're supposed to do. Should I, look, should I look up a walkthrough or something? Or is this it? Is this the game? I wonder. Is this it, by the way? Is it like there's no credits that roll or anything? I mean, credits already did, did roll, but... I mean, is this it? Is that quest? Um... Okay, well, this is the quest right here. Live as the Snitchel. Is your fate to dwell within the Snitchel's chamber forever and always? 
Okay. I guess that's the idea. You just stuck here forever. You can like watch the people go around. You don't really get to explore the, the entire world though, which kind of sucks. I kind of wish you could like explore the entire world, you know, but like go to other areas, check other, other cities and everything. But it seems like the only big city is Grand, you know, the Grand Storage anyway. I wish, I wish there was more cities actually to explore. Did you say something arisen? Did you say something arisen? Punch you in the butt. Kick you in the butt. Help. I'm just stuck here forever. Help. Help. Alright, one more time. I mean, you sit down, you just kind of like, you look in the world, alright, that's it. It kind of sucks, there's only two places, you know, again. If you're actually God, I feel like, you would like go to other places, go to other countries even, you know? It's an entire world, right? There's an entire world out there, and yet, we're just stuck here. Oh wow. Well. Okay, we'll go, we'll go back. Alright, well, well, let's see, let me try something. Because I think you can use, like, what? Where is it? Did I put it away? I don't know. I have this, right? God's Bane? So, I mean... It's funny, but like... The whole point is that you stay as God, but like... You, you abandon your duty like 10 minutes after, I feel like, but... I mean... Oop! Alright, I'm bored! Ah! Ah! Yeah, I did it. <laughs> yeah, when God gets bored. Whoop. All right. Hello. Oh, I can move the camera, but. And now this pawn is like, uh, uh, I'm God now. <laughs> She's God now. Amazing. Whoa. Wee. I really feel I really do feel like this is like supposed to be like super sad. <laughs> but and even the music makes it like super, seem very dramatic, but I don't know. Oh, what the? Wow. Shadow clone jutsu. In the water. That would hurt. In real life, that would actually hurt. It was a very long fall. Like water is not very soft, you know, especially if you drop from like a very high height. Basically, it hits you like concrete. Master! Oh. Okay. I assume her soul became like she went into my body or something, or the character's body anyway. I'm too immersed. I keep saying my body, but it's like not you know, like my character or, my, or me or whatever. But it's not me. It's my character. You see, I'm too immersed. It is you, isn't it? It happens when I play any video game, really. Of course it is. I'm sorry. Just seem changed. But I suppose it isn't you who's different. Hmm. It's everything else. And you who changed it. Okay. It's interesting, uh yeah, well obviously this scene happens when uh yeah when your closest NPC friend or whatever is like you no know, Mercedes, but obviously it could be a lot of different people. So I wonder how many voice lines there are, actually. How many variations there would be. There's, there's a lot of work to you know, put in, I imagine, for this scene as well. Is there could be a, a lot of potential candidates to be your, like, closest, uh, uh, closest, uh, you know, soulmate or beloved or whatever. Uh, oh, 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 okay, I kind of missed that. <laughs> there was, like, a whole thing there and I kind of missed it. Basically, I guess... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but I guess we died. Alright, so here's the credit. Alright, there you go. So yeah, so it ends with like... You're God, you, get, you got bored, you know? Because it turns out all you do is like walk around and look at people. It's like not much to do, I guess. So you just stab yourself. You die, and then I guess your body goes back to the world. But then your pawn also, like, as they drop down... I guess the idea is that they... Like the pawn, like... Apparently there's, there's some connection with like... um. Oh, that's my character's name. There's some connection to like parallel worlds or something, apparently. Oh, level 49, wow. Um, 
And so maybe the idea is that uh, all of the pawns from all of the parallel universes kind of like got together and then, you know, formed like a real soul. And then the soul went inside the, the body, I guess, and it became a real person, you know? Kind of like Pinocchio. You'll be fine now. Because you know, normally a pawn doesn't have free will, right? Is the idea. So they, they went inside the body and now they're going to live a normal life or something? Is the idea? I don't know. Kind of weird. <laughs> Again, definitely this game would... Uh, would a lot, of, a lot of interesting scenes at the end there. Definitely, um, would be cooler if, uh, again, if they, um, oh, support pawn, siren. Are there, like, other pawns I raided or something? <laughs> Oops. I didn't raid a lot of pawns, to be honest. But I guess a few. But yeah, it, it, it would be definitely more, um, it would be cooler in, like, a different game, to be honest, you know? This type of game, I don't know, to me it's just a little goofy. So then it gets all serious at the end, it's kind of like, this doesn't really fit, you know? Hey, look at that, it's like all my little pawns are using my adventures. Wow, it's a lot of pawns though. I kind of like, you know, I kind of like, it's kind of like bubble gum, you know? I kind of like chew them up and then, you know, get a new one. I, a lot of pawns I went through, a lot of meat shields. Anyway. But yeah, so this is actually the, the real end of the game right here. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, but basically, um, it was fun, you know? Mostly the gameplay, really, uh, was fun, anyway. Mostly. Uh, all the, all the little vocations, all the little classes, definitely, I didn't really explore all of it, but definitely, if you play on your own, you know, definitely a lot of customization you can do as well, so, and you can, like, you know, that's the idea, right? Make your own Arisen, make your own hero and everything. Um, so it's a lot of fun in terms of the actual, like, combat. Not just in the actual, like, you know, fighting necessarily, but also the idea, like, like, before the fighting, you know? Just like a lot of, D like, D&D, right? Like, making your own class, making your own character and everything. Uh, that's kind of, like, the one of the most fun parts of uh, of D&D, actually. Just thinking of, like, a like a cool character you want to make. So that's part of the fun of, I feel, like, a dragon's dogma and everything. And obviously, there's a lot of, if you really want to, you can, like, grind a lot, you know? And play, like, you know, Diablo style. You just got a lot of loot, <laughs> I guess. Craft, enhance, upgrade, and all that. I imagine you could do a lot of that in New Game Plus anyway. Especially for the DLC. And I, I still don't know if I want to do a DLC. I guess we'll see next time if I'm in the mood, but I, I really don't know, to be honest. And that's kind of the whole point of getting this version, you know, Dark Arisen. Draggy's Dogma, Dark Arisen, or whatever. That's kind of the point. Just play the DLC, but I don't know. It just seems hard, <laughs> you know? It just seems like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a thing where you need to grind a lot for or something. Maybe like level 100 or something, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if there's any point either. Do you get like any extra cutscenes or something? Not that I really want to see extra cutscenes really, because it's not the story that I even really like care you know, about this game. I don't know, but that yeah, definitely is it's the weakest part though. It's kind of like, I don't know, it just doesn't really, um, it just doesn't really uh, bring me in, you know, in terms of the actual, like, world and the story and all that. There's, there's, like, something there. It's just... The execution is just weird. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Exactly why. I'm just not really into the story. Because, uh, I mean, for one, I got, I mean, obviously, I got, like, um... I guess I already got, like, a prejudice, I guess, you know? Because a lot of people, people did say that the story is not really... Well, you're playing it for it, you know? You're not playing, the, playing this game for the story, so... I don't know. It's just kind of there. It's not really... Uh, it's just uh, characters I just don't care about, you know? I think what it is just, I don't know. For me anyway, I guess it's just not anime enough, you know? It's not very anime enough. Kind of harps on the whole Berserk thing, by the way. You know, it's kind of like, I mean, I mean, there's like direct references to Berserk, really, in this game. Um, but like, I don't know. It kind of follows the, the whole, like, hero fights the dragon kind of thing. And, and that's kind of the point, you know, to the very end. There's like a choice, I guess, but I don't know. It just, it... Like, if the most of the story was kind of cliche anyway, you know, and the twist is like, it, like there's like a twist at the end, it's like, it's still, most of the game is still was pretty cliche, cliche though, is a problem, right? Either way, even if there's like a, a thing where they're like, oh, it's all, you know, it's all different now, it's like, you still, most of the game you're playing is, most of the story is kind of like, eh, kind of mediocre anyway, right? And it changed the fact that most of the story, in the main story anyway, was kind of like, kind of like, eh, you know? No, just nothing special about it, right? There's a problem. But I do appreciate it for what it is, I guess. Kind of the point is that it is, it is kind of harps on a lot of stereotypes in the first place, right? That's what's fun about it. They fight like dragons and griffins and, you know, 
a giant hydra, <laughs> you know? Did mostly the end though. I wonder if we can fight those creatures. Maybe explore the, more, the world some more, but I didn't really do that. I'm kind of like surprised that the main story, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I am surprised the main story doesn't really take you to the, you know, the four corners of the world in the first place, right? You think that by doing the main story, you like go to all the important locations, but you kind of do a lot of backtracking. That's definitely one of my criticism as well. A lot of backtracking, I feel like. Obviously, eventually you can do like fast travel and all that, that does cut down on time, but still, it, especially in the beginning, just way too much, too much, too much backtracking, you know? I want to go to new places, you know, not just... Especially in the main story, if you can go to the same place, you literally have to go back to the same place. You go back to the city, report on the quest that you did, and literally just go back to where you came from. You know, I didn't even, that kind of like, it's just way too much of that. Anyway. Anyway, uh, long as, uh, all right, so New Game Plus, basically, with all your items and everything. And this is usually a time where you can, like, uh, I, I think, like, just do, um, like, uh, the DLC, you know, and everything. Anyway. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I'm just gonna go to the menu real quick, just to just to be in the menu, I guess. Uh, it's like Skyrim, but horribly misspelled. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of, that's quite a, sw a stretch, but I don't know. I do, I kind of do compare it to Skyrim. It really is a yeah, a little bit like Skyrim, I guess. Not not as um not as much con not not as much content, I guess, but I don't know. It's a, it is a little bit like Skyrim in the sense that it's like it's a little shallow, to be honest. Right, as I mentioned before, it's like. There's a few things to do here and there, and some mechanics are deep, you know, again, especially the combat, but... Mm, or can be deep anyway. But definitely it's like, eh, you know, not really a type of game that I really want to spend a lot of time in, but, you know, it depends. It depends on the type of player you are. I'm definitely like more like a, um, you know, character, you know, I like, I like, if a game has a really good world, and like interesting characters, and the, the style of writing, you know, really like pulls me in, you know? Um, in terms of like, uh, you know, basically like, mm, I don't know what you say, but like human drama, I guess. I really like human drama in a lot of stories, I feel like. You know, g games that kind of focus on uh, uh, the characters, basically, you know, and their and their struggles and whatnot. Not necessarily like saving the world, but like most of like, uh, you know, like, like, a slice, like a slice of life kind of anime, you know, but, um, but not just like, you know, hanging out or anything, you know, a li li little bit more than that. But it's, it's a little bit drama still, but. You know, I've kind of like those kind of games. And this game really is not really my style, you know. But I try it out. Again, I played for the gameplay and it was fun. Definitely a cool like way. Like I like I like thinking about like, you know, what kind of class I was going to be, you know, making my character and whatnot, you know, and have fun sometimes. I kind of, you know, kind of mocked it a little, little bit, but you know, it was all in good fun, right? I think anyway, it wasn't like I hated the game necessarily, but um, definitely because I wasn't really in too much into the story, you know, I kind of made fun of it a little bit, but, you know, it's not like I hated the game necessarily. Anyway, uh, what else to say? Because this, this is kind of it for now, anyway. Again, I might, may, may not do DLC, but that's for later, so for now, I'll just, like, this is kind of it. This is my entire playthrough of, uh, Dragon's Dogma. There you go. I'm trying to think, like, what else is there to say? Oh, yeah, what, what I was saying before, like, if you're the type of player that really likes, like, you know, if you really just ignore the story, I feel like there's there's like that kind of player for that that really appeals to, um, or this game really appeals to. Definitely, I, I imagine when you especially if you do like um, more of the DLC, and I guess we'll see. But uh, I I think like if you're the player that likes to play like like Diablo, right? Diablo like an action RPG where like you focus on making a character, you know, building a character, and then like um, just fight monsters all day long. You know, you don't really like pay attention to too much of the story. I feel like, you, you know, you don't play play Diablo for the story, right? It's just kind of there. But like you play for the hack and slash and to like make a character build. I mean, just like uh, Path of Exiles, bro. That's another game that's like free to play. That's kind of like Diablo. I feel like it's kind of like that kind of game. I feel like anyway. And then, uh, you know, and then you just, you just focus on like making the character stronger and that kind of like gameplay loop, right? But, you know, that by in itself is just not enough for me, I feel like, you know? I still enjoy it, I guess, but I wouldn't say it's the best game ever because of that, right? If it had like, I don't know, basically if it just had like a tighter kind of like, kind of story, right? It wasn't like, kind of, it wasn't trying to do the whole open world Skyrim thing, right? I, you know, that's the problem with like a, a lot of open world games is like, I mean, I keep, I'm, I'm repeating it like five times already, but you know, it's big, but it's empty, basically, you know, in a, in a sentence. But yeah. Well, there you go. I guess, I guess that's it for Dragon's Dogma. If I return, I'll maybe try out a DLC, but uh, I guess we'll see. For now, though, 
uh, that was it for this game. So, if you didn't know, if you're on YouTube, uh, rather, if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch. So check me out over there if you're interested. And uh, I also have other videos on the channel. You can look for those if you want. Thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.